Before we plunge into the declaration, understanding what is significant, molecule gas pedals are the enormous Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN. It is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets in the world's biggest and most powerful atom smasher. It represents the zenith of human logical accomplishment. In fact, it's so strong that it can reproduce the very states of the universe's introduction to the birth. However, could this machine, intended to open the mystery of the universe, hold the key to something undeniably more dismal? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most esteemed research associations, with 23 member states and thousands of researchers. It serves as a center for collaboration and development. The LHC is CERN's lead project, but it's simply one piece of a huge organization of gas pedals and investigations. Imagine a circuit, not for vehicles or ponies, but rather for subatomic particles in a race against reality itself. The LHC speeds up protons to almost the speed of light, sending them on an impact course that mimics the energy of the universe at the time of the Big Bang. The impacts create temperatures one million times hotter than the center of the sun. Large numbers of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while complex cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The beams inside the LHC are made to crash at four areas around the gas pedal ring, corresponding to the places of four molecule indicators, MAP, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each fills an interesting purpose, investigating various parts of molecule physics. Together, they act as giant cameras, capturing depictions of these impacts. Researchers then scan through the debris, searching for indications of the elusive Higgs boson, otherwise known as the God particle, and other phenomena that offer signs to the universe's central building blocks. By studying the microcosm, we gain insights into the universe. Yet, with each answer comes a new question, and with each discovery, a new test. The LHC isn't simply a scientific instrument. It's a confirmation of human curiosity and development. It epitomizes our constant quest for knowledge and our longing to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. Yet, as we push the limits of what we know, we must also consider the moral and existential questions that arise. What are the dangers of testing the unknown? Could our pursuit of knowledge accidentally open forces we have no control over? In the sacred halls of CERN, where the limits of human comprehension are constantly pushed, a discovery has arisen that sends a shudder down the spine of even the most prepared scientists. Brian Cox, a former scientist at CERN and a voice of authority in the realm of particle physics, has recently made a declaration that has left the world both intrigued and uneasy. Cox's words reverberate with a troubling clarity. The objective of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to reproduce a small-scale Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right a miniature version of the very event that brought forth our universe. The physicist also happened to explain the implications of this objective, highlighting the LHC's remarkable potential for making new discoveries. This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and investigate dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a large portion of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your grasp, the ability to summon the very essence of the universe. It's an enticing possibility, yet one full of peril. The miniature Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept. It's a distinct reality within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy, all mimic the conditions of the universe's inception. It's like standing at the dawn of recorded history, witnessing the birth of existence itself. But with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms. What if something goes wrong? In reality, something did go wrong. Back in 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Borsky experienced an accident that would forever change the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia, a glitch caused his head to inadvertently enter the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with a force that defies comprehension, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Borsky's experience was surreal. He saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns, but felt no pain. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning tissue and bone. Yet he remained conscious and even walked to the facility for treatment. The aftermath was both shocking and fascinating. 
The beam's path caused localized tissue damage, leading to the loss of hearing in one ear and partial facial paralysis. But incredibly, Borsky's intellectual abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not just a personal tragedy. It's a cautionary tale that underscores the immense power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks of a particle accelerator like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. The potential for unexpected reactions, for the very fabric of existence to be manipulated. These are not the stuff of science fiction, but genuine concerns voiced by some in the academic community. One of the most disturbing and intriguing concerns related to the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are massive vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, enigmatic entities that lurk in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could create such a phenomenon, even on an infinitesimal scale, is staggering to both the public and scientists alike. Could this black hole someday grow uncontrollably, swallowing the Earth from within? However, scientists at CERN have assured that any black hole created would be unstable and dissipate almost instantly. This remote possibility has sparked discussions, fears, and a sense of awe at the power we wield. It's important to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. It has to do with the key mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so great that it warps the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, and then a heavy object is dropped onto it. The fabric bends and warps, and if the weight is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be pulled into it. This is a simplistic analogy for what could happen in the LHC, in the realm of quantum physics, where the laws of the universe are both strange and wonderful. There exists a theory that additional dimensions may be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could tap into them, creating a gravitational funnel that forms a tiny black hole. This mysterious dance of particles has even caught the attention of some world-renowned scientists, especially the late Stephen Hawking. In his book, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at extremely high energy levels. This instability could lead to disastrous vacuum rot, a vast occasion that wouldn't just annihilate the Earth, but, be that as it may, the whole universe itself. The regarded English cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees II communicated his interests about the tests led at CERN in his book on what's to come, Possibilities for Mankind. He investigated the likely dangers related to atom smasher tests, including those at CERN. His words were not simply preventative, they were touched with a feeling of existential fear. He discussed a worst-case scenario, where a disastrous trial could create a condition called vacuum precariousness. This flimsiness could, in theory, trigger a stage progress that would echo through the actual texture of space-time, resulting in an enormous disaster that could overwhelm the whole universe. Reza's interests were not restricted to hypothetical insights. He doled out a likelihood to these devastating results, though a low one. Yet even a minute possibility, he contended, ought to give us cause for concern. The stakes are incredibly high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The researchers at CERN have determined the probabilities, run the reenactments, and inspected the hypotheses to contend for the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself recognized the significance of mindful investigation. It is boundless to recognize the fears and concerns surrounding the activities of the LHC. He stressed that there are thorough security measures in place, broad surveys, and conventions that ensure the LHC's activities are conducted with absolute attention to detail. Cox consoled that the energies involved are well within what the Earth normally experiences, and the possibility of making a stable black hole is cosmically low. Regardless of whether one were made, researchers say it would be so minuscule and thus unstable that it would vanish instantly, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking, known as Hawking radiation. It would be a transient moment of cosmic marvel, a brief glimpse into the chasm, and then gone. Some have gone further, speculating that the LHC's investigations could open a doorway to another universe or aspect. This idea, however, is largely dismissed by mainstream researchers 
but has caught the imagination of many and has turned into a subject of interest, fear, and even legends. What lies beyond our existence? Might we accidentally release powers or elements that we don't understand? The idea of opening a doorway to hell has, indeed, even been sensationalized in various media, fanning the fire of uncertainty. But how did this thought come to be? And what does it mean in the context of scientific investigation? The idea of parallel aspects isn't new in physics. String theory, a main possibility for a unified theory of everything, posits that there might be more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra aspects could be compactified or hidden from our insight, but they could hypothetically be accessed or revealed under extreme circumstances. Now, envision the LHC as a vast key, opening doors that have been sealed since the beginning of recorded history. When protons crash at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could, in principle, create waves or vibrations that test these secret aspects. If those aspects exist, the LHC could potentially uncover them. However, before we get out of hand with wild speculation, it's essential to understand that while the LHC is incredibly powerful, there is no definitive proof to suggest it will open a doorway to another universe, let alone hell itself. Nonetheless, the allure of the unknown, combined with the mysterious nature of quantum physics, means such ideas will continue to captivate the public imagination. So, should we be worried about the LHC and its potential risks? It's easy to be swept away by thrilling headlines and fears of infinite catastrophe. Yet the reality is that the researchers at CERN are keenly aware of the dangers involved. They have taken precautionary measures to ensure their investigations are safe and continue to monitor and assess their work with the highest level of meticulousness. The potential benefits of the research, forward leaps in how we might understand the universe, the discovery of new particles, the investigation of dark matter, are truly inspiring. The LHC is not only a demonstration of human resourcefulness, but also a window into the very heart of the universe. However, like any extraordinary leap forward in science, it comes with its share of risks, and we must approach it with a combination of wonder, respect, and caution. The Large Hadron Collider represents the forefront of scientific investigation, where theoretical physics meets experimental reality. Its potential to answer key questions about the universe, such as the origins of mass and the nature of dark matter, is unmatched. Yet, despite thorough security measures and detailed computations, the LHC still conjures a sense of mystery and fear among some. The sheer size of the machine and the energy it produces is staggering. Moreover, Every new experiment opens the door to unfamiliar scientific territory. While most researchers remain confident about the safety of LHC tests, there are certain uncertainties. What if new, unanticipated phenomena arise, challenging how we understand physics and the universe's laws? The LHC pushes the limits of human knowledge and questions the boundaries of our control over the natural world. As particle collisions recreate conditions unseen since the Big Bang, the profound nature of these experiments raises existential questions about the possible consequences of tampering with the very fabric of the universe. In practice, the LHC's accomplishments in particle physics have been groundbreaking. It has led to the discovery of the Higgs boson, advanced our understanding of the Standard Model, and opened pathways to potential breakthroughs that could reshape our technological future. Despite the dangers, the pursuit of knowledge remains one of humanity's most ambitious endeavors. The journey of scientific discovery is rarely without risk, and the LHC is no exception. Its operations delve into areas of physics where intuition no longer applies. For decades, physicists have sought to understand the fundamental forces of nature. Gravity, electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force, each of which plays a critical role in the construction of matter. The LHC has been instrumental in providing clues that bring us closer to a unified theory of everything, where these forces may be reconciled under a single framework. As humanity continues to explore these frontiers, the nature of the experiments themselves raises profound moral considerations. Could advancements in particle physics lead to unintended consequences for our planet, or even the very fabric of reality? These are difficult questions to answer and they require careful thought about the broader implications of scientific progress. For instance, 
The creation of exotic particles or the study of high-energy conditions could reveal hidden aspects of the universe, but they also carry the risk of triggering new phenomena that are hard to predict. The quest for scientific knowledge in these uncharted regions can inspire both excitement and fear as discoveries unfold. Humanity must grapple with the responsibility of ensuring that progress is guided by wisdom, caution, and an understanding of the potential consequences. Some argue that our understanding of quantum physics is still in its infancy, and the LHC's tests, which operate in the realm of subatomic particles, may one day lead to unforeseen discoveries with sweeping implications. While the LHC tests are ultimately designed to shed light on some of the most significant questions in physics, they also force us to confront a fundamental part of human nature. The desire to push the boundaries of the known, often without fully grasping the potential outcomes of that exploration. The hope is that the LHC's discoveries will lead to a better understanding of the universe, but there will always be an element of uncertainty as we venture further into the unknown. As the LHC continues its historic work, it also serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness between scientific discovery and societal responsibility. The experiments conducted at CERN may one day transform fields beyond physics, such as energy production, material science, and medicine. By studying particles and their interactions, scientists may unlock new methods of harnessing energy or even discovering novel forms of matter that could revolutionize technology as we know it. However, the potential for both extraordinary advancement and unexpected challenges remains ever-present. The delicate balance between exploring the unknown and managing the inherent risks requires vigilance as humanity looks to the future. It is essential that we approach the wonders of the universe with humility and respect for the unknown consequences of our actions.